Okay, so what we're going to do today is take our rough draft, our storyboard of our comic, and make it into a nice and neat and good looking comic. So the first thing I want to do is count how many frames I need, right? And I know that I need six for this, I've labeled them. And I want to make six panels on a new piece of paper. You can hold it in whichever direction makes the most sense. I'm thinking if I cut my paper in half this way and then in thirds this way, roughly, right, I could have one, two, three, four, five, six. And it could be read like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, or the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm going to hold mine the tall way. So the first thing I'm going to want to do now is to just take a ruler and neaten this up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to make mine as nice as possible. So I'm going to find my halfway mark here. You could fold your paper if that helps you. Find my halfway mark here. And I'm going to make a nice line. Okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so I want to make a mark at 4 and 8. And I'm doing all of this in pencil. Okay, so I've got my page split up nicely. One cool trick I can do now is to trace these with a marker. And let's see what will happen here in a second. I could erase my pencil lines now, or I could flip it over and I can see through the paper now, and I can get a nice and neat side to work on. So that's a cool trick for setting up your paper. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is figure out which pages need text. Okay, The Adventures of Mousy, um, that's pretty much just going to be, that's my title page, so that's all going to be text, that's fine. Mousy is always hungry. That's going to need text, right? I, I don't know how I can tell you that with just a picture, that the mouse is always hungry. So what I'm going to want to do here is just create a space for writing. And I'm just going to trace my ruler here. Okay. And what I'll end up doing is writing um, Mousy is always... Hungry. I'm going to put hungry in nice big letters. All right, and then the picture will be up here. Okay. My next frame, Mousy sees a banana. I don't think I need text there. I think I can show that just with some dotted lines going up to the banana and the Mousy clearly looking at it. So I don't think I need any, any text here at all. Um, he can't reach. No, I don't think I need text there either. Rolling into a tree. I don't think I need text there. I can show that. How can I peel this? That's text, right? It might be confusing if I didn't, like I could put the question marks there, but it might be confusing why those question marks are there. So um, let's create a spot to write text. Okay. Now I could write it in here. I could also give him a little speech bubble. Um, Whichever way works. I think for this one, though, I think a speech bubble is, is actually the way to go. So let's erase that line. I don't need it. Okay. Now comes the fun part. Got to get these drawings in here. So um, the Adventures of Mousy, that's going to be uh, just like a title page. I'll, I'll try and spend some time making that text nice and neat looking. Um, Mousy is always hungry, so I want to make my mouse nice and big, right? This is the first panel where he's here, and I'm going to draw him 
nice and big. There's nothing else going on. There's no need to highlight a background. And I'm just going to write rumble, rumble. And I'm going to do some lines around his belly. Okay, so it looks like his, his belly's making noise. This is called onomatopoeia. This is when you give a word to a sound. So that would be slap, right? Or you see it a lot in comic books where somebody gets punched and they say pow. Okay, so whenever you, you write out a sound with letters, that is called onomatopoeia. It's a fun word. Uh, give my mouse some ears. Right? I would trace those words out, okay? but that looks pretty good. My second panel, my mousey sees the banana. Um, now, he can't be this big because he needs to be looking up at a banana tree. So hopefully, um, I'm giving you guys some ideas for how this should be laid out. And yours is obviously different from mine. So I'm going to draw this banana tree. And I should probably be much neater than this, but I don't want to make a 20 minute video. Okay. Now I'm going to give him those. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Give him a little speech bubble. Okay. My next panel is he can't reach. So he can be a little bit closer. I'm going to make that tree look a little bit taller. Draw those bananas again. And I'll draw mousy. Looking sad because he can't get there. And I'll give him some question marks so that he's thinking, how am I supposed to get those? The mouse rolls into the tree. I can zoom in a little bit more, show that he's at the bottom of the tree. I'm going to bend that tree to make it look like he is hitting it hard. And I'm going to give him some action lines to make it look like he's moving. And the bananas are plopping down. And in the last panel, he cannot peel his bananas. So I'm going to have him look either confused or sad. He's frustrated because he did all that work. And I'll have him write now how should, oops, S H O U L D. I peel these. I have no arms. And that's going to be a speech bubble. Okay? So you saw I made a little mistake there. It's probably good for you to do all of your writing in pencil first. So the comic's laid out. I need to do my title page here, but it's pretty much laid out. Then you could come in, you know, you can add a background. I'll put some mountains behind here or something, whatever. Give him a nice sun, add color, right? You get the idea. But the basic idea of the comic is done. This will probably take you a couple of days. Okay. This is zoomed in, so there's not going to be as much of a background, right? Because we're much closer to Mousy. Okay. Very cool. So hopefully this makes some sense to you guys. Um, and I'm really excited to see how they come out. Just remember th that this is about making it nice and neat and readable and taking your time. And, and seriously, when you're laying any of this stuff out, uh, pencil is, is very, very helpful. So... 
I can't wait to see what you make. And remember, it's okay if this takes a couple of classes. All right. I'll see you guys next time.